Greetings, pen pals. We have another nice pen from India today. This is the Gamma Hawk. So this is a very basic looking pen, black polished ebonite pen. Um, it's a very simple pen in a lot of respects, but a really, really nice, nice pen. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It weighs 32 grams. It's all ebonite. So given that ebonite is not a particularly heavy material, the weight shouldn't be surprising. It's a decent size pen. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot. Oh, let's back that camera up a bit. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan, and as you can see, it's decently bigger than either of these pens. So one called an oversized pen, but it is just a you know it's a it's a fairly fairly large um, large pen. Very simple pen. The only branding on it is the word Gamma um, etched into the side of the ebonite here. No no cap bands, no finials, no anything like that. Everything just comes to a rounded point, and it is nicely polished. Um, solid black ebonite material with a very nice functional functional plain simple clip it is a unscrew to cap pen takes two and a half turns to uh, unscrew um, and it has some threads here not obtrusive at all it is certainly large enough to use unposted however the pen does post it posts well pretty big not back weighted, but pretty long when posted. I do like to post my pen, so I usually write with it posted. The section is plenty long, nicely tapered, has a nice little lip here, which of course matches up with a ledge on the inside of the cap to ensure a good airtight uh, seal. Again, we're talking about a very simple pen here. This is an eyedropper filled pen. You simply unscrew the section and fill up this whole barrel with ink. So it does hold a very large boatload of ink. Um, the nib is a nice size, number six size nib. Um, it's a steel nib, has some scroll work, a breather hole, the branding Gamma. This nib is in medium. And it has a nice ebonite feed, which is always, always nice to see. It is a number six size nib, so swap at the nib. I have not done this myself, but it should not prove difficult, I would imagine. So that's pretty much the deal on this pen um it's a 50 dollars pen including shipping all the way from india so it's a i think it's pretty reasonably priced um it is like i said a nicely made basic uh, ebonite pen it comes in a couple of different colors etc but um, i kind of thought this black polished black was was pretty was pretty nice so that's basically the deal on this pen simple um, cigar shaped or sort of modified cigar shape I guess a uh, black ebonite pen looks sharp looks nice and it writes pretty well as we're about to find out right now okay folks like we said this pen is the uh, gamma hawk and this has a medium steel nib And this is definitely a nice medium. So this is a medium bordering on broad, really, really nice amount of flow. I would definitely say from a wetness perspective, it is definitely on the wetter side um, and just writes really, really nice. Super, super smooth. Um, just a a real pleasurable, pleasurable pen to uh, write with. Um, and I enjoy it quite a bit. has a really, really good flow as well. Just, um, just very, very, very enjoyable. A very comfortable writer, like I said. These threads here, nothing, so to speak, of. Writes really comfortable. It's a nicely girthy, chunky, substantial pen. So not a delicate little pen by any means, but... Um, but uh, one that I really, really enjoy writing with quite a bit. Um, not a lot to say about this pen. It's a pretty basic pen. It has the most basic filling system imaginable. It's an eyedropper filler. Just, uh, just a quality workhorse type pen. Not flashy at all. Has a nib that writes. Has pretty much been the first time every time writer for me uh, for as long as I've had it. Um, and it works uh, really, really well. And uh, functions, functions well. So a nice, nice pen. Pretty good deal, I think, for 50 bucks. Again, you're getting all ebonite. Nice, nice. I th it's also available in a matte finish as well. You don't have to get the, 
the polished ebonite like uh, like I have here. Um, but um, just uh, just uh, a nice nice writing pen. Um, not much more to say about that. But let's talk about this ink now for a minute, shall we? Okay, so this ink here is Noodler's. Socrates. Or if you're a Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure fan, Socrates. So anyway, Noodle of Socrates. So this is basically a somewhat of a, I'd say a pastel purple. Or maybe an indigo. Um, Etc. Again, nice, nice ink from Noodler's. Um, writes really well, has a really cool label, etc. Um, this ink, however, is an ink that Noodles classifies as eternal, meaning, as they say, um, uh, resist the tools of the forger. So the claim is that this ink is, is you can't wash it away, bleach it out, etc. So I'm not going to go through an ultra exhaustive scientific test on this, but I thought it'd be interesting to see just how water resistant it would be for a minute. So let's do a little water test on it, shall we? Okay, I'm going to pour a little water on this writing sample. This particular writing sample was actually done a few days ago, maybe even a week ago. So it definitely had plenty of time to dry. So let's just see how it does with water. So I'm just literally going to dump some water on it and let's see, um, let's see uh, what, if anything, um, will happen here. So, um, well, the answer is nothing. So this doesn't seem to be, this seems to be, I'll let that soak for a little bit, but um, the water doesn't seem to be affecting it at all. I'm not seeing any feathering, any bleeding, any dissolving, any lightning, uh, nothing. It's literally, it seems to, the paper is starting to soak up. So when we're seeing spots on the paper, as the paper becomes saturated with the water, um, but I'm not seeing at least from a water perspective, this seems to be about as water resistant an ink as one could um, as one could ask for. Uh, I'm going to take their word for it about things like bleach and UV light and all that other interesting stuff. But if you if you're looking for a water resistant ink, maybe just to address envelopes and things like that, because people are always concerned when they're writing envelopes that they get wet as they go through the postal system, is that going to be a problem? So clearly, this would be a great ink. Um, a great ink for that. So yeah, the, it's just, this is holding up to water uh, effectively flawlessly. So again, nice, nice job, uh, Noodlers, on uh, on that. So nice pen, nice ink this week. Certainly an ink that works as advertised, at least best that I can tell. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber. I'd like to suggest that you might want to consider becoming one. Please keep those thumbs up coming. Give us a comment or two. Those are always appreciated. And as always, until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.